I remember clearly saying to my mother, you know, I have this feeling that when I get to Alaska, I won't be coming back. If we all have an inner compass in us, mine continually pointed me north and west, and north and west. The Seward Peninsula is where it all resonates for me. I have the ocean. I have sand beaches, I have rocky headlands full of seabirds, I have beautiful mountains that most people don't even realize are here. I became so driven to experience so many different things that it didn't leave as much time for art as I think art deserves. But I carried a camera with me everywhere. I must have thousands and thousands of images, always with the idea that the time would come that I would slow down and paint more. And that time has really come for me. When it is berry picking time, everybody is out. Subsistence and gathering from the land, it isn't something from the past. People are part of the natural landscape, especially when they're out gathering food. To me, it is the healthiest, most beautiful part of Alaskan village life. And I wanted to try to capture that all uh, in a painting. And out of it came Okpiks and Imaruk. I submitted a proposal to the Alaska State Council on the Arts for the Nome Youth Facility, where young people from the region go that have experienced some challenges and troubles. What I wanted to do was show recognizable landscapes from around the region with people in them doing healthy activities. I was hoping that youth in this facility could put themselves into the picture so that, that these kids might say, oh, I, you know, I miss berry picking. I really want to go berry picking. That's, that's, that's better than being here. Or another painting of people uh, crabbing on the south side of Little Dime wow, you know, that's the life I want for myself again. So I, I was hoping to influence their lives by what I have found so important and so valuable in, in Native and rural life. I actually come from a long line of women who have been artistic. My great-grandmother was a wonderful painter. My grandmother painted, my mother painted. But nobody ever really took it seriously. And I, throughout my life, I had heard my mother's voice saying, oh, Susan, I certainly hope you'll do something with your art. Don't squander it like I have. So that's always been there as I'm off on these trips, uh, dog mushing here, sailing there. Um, oh, I really should be doing art. Um, and then I finally started doing art. And this particular painting, Okpix and Imaruk, my mother just loved. And I, I had sent her a copy of it. At 94 years of age, she had a laptop and it was her wallpaper. And everyone who came to the house, she would show that particular painting to. My daughter did that. And this past summer, I was getting, I, I had decided to join a family that was sailing from Nome over to the Russian Far East, to Chukotka, where I had connections and friends. And my mother was not happy about it. She said, you should be painting. Stop going off on these adventures. You should be painting. And I said, OK, well, Mom, I, I won't be gone long. And while I was gone, um, she had a very serious car accident. And I came back early and immediately flew to the East Coast. I got her out of the hospital, and I cared for her at home. And everyone who came, she showed them the painting. and again admonished me to keep painting and she passed away so to have this particular painting that meant so much to her get this kind of recognition is just incredibly reaffirming i, I feel like my mother's voice is there still saying keep going <laughs> <laughs>